So a feature of UFO that is also present in GUFO is the availability of a taxonomy of types that can be used to clarify some meta properties of types themselves. So um, if you check the documentation of GUFO, there is, um, you, you see that there are two taxonomies, the taxonomy of individuals and the taxonomy of types. And the taxonomy of types um, has a number of different um, categories that can be applied um, to types. So um, a type can be a kind, a phase, a row, a subkind, or a category, a phase mixing, a row mixing, or a mixing, depending on different um, meta properties which, which you can find in the documentation, not only in this uh, usage guide, but also in the reference documentation for UFO. So um, this allow, allows us to um, specify that certain classes, they're not just classes um, with no, no further uh, categorization, but that they, that they are specific types of classes. For example, that person is a kind or that adult is a phase or that student is a row and so on and so forth. A uh, person specializing GUFO functional complex, which specializes object and so on. And here we'll add some subclasses of persons, such as child and phases, child and adult, and a, a row such as student. We'll also create other kinds of functional complexes here, such as organization and a specific type of organization, which is a school. Um, so here we want to mark um, all those the meta properties of these classes and that there's no support for that directly in OWL but we will um, use the taxonomy of types to be able to add that. So we'll check here the taxonomy of endurance types and here we can select between the different um, types of types. Um, so here we go um, let's say that person, you want to characterize person as kind. So here we are going to use punning, um, which is uh, the, that we will use the same, uh, the same identifier, the same URL we used for person. We will also use, uh, to, to denote this class, we will also use an instantiation of some other class. So here we go. If we have... Um, if we want to say that person is a kind, we just instantiate kind and use the same um, identifier we used earlier. So now person is an instance of kind and is also a subclass of functional complex. We can do the same with, let's say that we say that um, schools are also kinds. So we could do that. School is a kind. And we could say that adult is a phase, and that child is a phase, and that student is a row. Uh, if we save this ontology now, and we'll check the serialization, we'll see what happens when we uh, do this and use punning. So here we have the school example, and we can now open the serialization of the school example and here we go. Uh, adult is a class, a out class subtyping person but at the same time adult is an instance of phase and child is an instance of phase and person is an instance of kind and so is school and student is an instance of role. So this is how uh, we mark those meta properties um, of classes using GUFO. Um, we plan a ProJ plugin to check the UFO rules on these. Um, so, for example, uh, the rules that um, types like row and phase, which are anti rigid, they, they cannot be specialized by rigid types like kinds and subkinds and categories. Um, so this is uh, going to be implemented in, this can be implemented by Sparkle queries right now uh, and we will uh, implement a ProJ plugin to check for the quality of GUFO based ontologies to be released soon.